The Book of Mirrors started with a question and a dream. The question was simple. Where did the concept of mermaids come from? And why, when I started to look, did the story of half-human, half-aquatic beings enter the reliefs and tapestries and history of some of the world's most ancient cultures. Some of these stories I'd never heard of before. And so I thought, why don't I tell these stories? I discovered Mamewata of West Africa, Injuzu in Zimbabwe, Yemoja of the Oshun, Mamba Muntu, the Sabawa Ilnu of the Mi'kmaq in Nova Scotia, Selkies in Scotland, La Sirene La Baleine in Haiti. The list goes on and on from the Ningyo in Japan to La Llorona in Mexico. My name is Afua Richardson. I am a comic book illustrator, a musician, singer, songwriter, voice actor, and creator of comics and graphic novels for the past 15 years for ongoing series, TV, and film. But one thing I haven't done in all of my years of creating was tell my own story. I've had the opportunity to work on some amazing projects. But I think it's time for me to bring all of my disciplines together in one place. So that's why I decided to create Aquarius, the Book of Myrrh. But I'm not doing it alone. I'm calling on my friends, Mike Smith, Paul Ritchie, John Ferrara, and Caillou Ferraris, and Daryl Mack of Run DMC to help me create a unique storytelling experience by having an album of different kinds of music accompanying the story. So I'm going to have some of the lyrics and melody do the storytelling for me. In some places there will be no dialogue at all and it'll all be something that you hear and see on the page. This is going to be the first of an ongoing series published through Image Comics in May of 2021. We're going to follow Astara, a young girl who is plagued by nightmares of sea creatures and strange beings that start spilling into her reality. Is the poor girl losing her mind or is something more nefarious going on? We're going to follow three families as they interact with and dream of and pursue these different aquatic creatures and the repercussions of that. I also wanted to make something that was a little more me. Something that dug into history and strange tales, but also told my family story. I only had pieces and small bits of my family history. I'm learning more and more about it every day. But the more I researched and the more I asked, the more I realized that some of the greatest superheroes were my own family members. So this book will also be in dedication to the real heroes and real issues with water. It is very easy to find things that divide us. It's easy to point out our differences and the things that keep us apart. But we all come from the ocean and we all have blood in our veins. So I wanted to make something 
that would pull all of the storylines and legends of merfolk and kappas and sabas and nagas and jellyfish and civil rights and sci-fi and robots just all the things that i love in one ongoing series the dream that i mentioned earlier was a dream about my great granddad it was a dream that i had when i was three years old and, and i kept having it over and over again and so in the story, you'll discover how this dream saved my life. This book is in dedication to my grandmother and grandfather who passed away very recently. I was going to surprise them and let them know that I was listening and that their stories are wonderful and heroic and heartbreaking and worthy of being told. I just hope that whatever river and whatever form my grandmother and grandfather are sailing on now, that they know that the pages of this book and the music is dedicated to them and to you. May I present to you Aquarius, the Book of Myrrh, coming to Image Comics, Myrrh May 2021.